When is a coffin not a coffin? When it's made out of cardboard? When it's decorated with paper cutouts? And then it's an eternal rest receptacle. Yvonne Eastor is a former drug squad cop who has recently turned her hand to decoupage, the ancient art of cutting and pasting. She takes the attitude that if it doesn't move, you can decoupage it and makes no exception for a new line of cardboard receptacles. It is getting away from the word coffin, which is an awful word. Yeah. Eternal rest receptacle sounds uh, nicer and friendlier than coffin. The regulations say that a coffin must be made of wood or metal and this is cardboard. So this comes under 51B of the regulations which state a receptacle or a container. And so are these things environmentally friendly? Well, it's all recycled cardboard from the busy board and it is, um, burns in two minutes, so therefore is environmentally friendly. You are going to choose one of these coffins yourself? Yes, I had originally purchased a low-cost wooden coffin to decorate for myself, but I've now decided I will go with the heavenly rest receptacle. Because you like the, the burn time or...? I like the burn time and there's more area on it to take apart. Is this something that's been there for you, an interest in death and dying, or is it an interest in decoupage? No, it's an interest in decoupage, and yes, well, we've all got to go, so I want to have my say when I go on how it's done. Yvonne has not yet done a photo transfer to her new receptacle, so she took me on a tour of her old wooden coffin. On the top of it, I've got uh, photos from when I was a baby through to my 40th birthday, and intermingled with uh, Willie Nelson, Chris Christopherson and Wallen Jennings and the Tiger for the Richmond Football Club. And then down the bottom I've got the highway men and there's a photo of me looking on my, over my shoulder to say goodbye to everyone as they wheel me into the cremator. I was inspired and overcome by a desire to decoupage my own cardboard coffin. It was an investment in the future and an opportunity to take to John Saffron with a pair of scissors. Who's this fellow here? John. John's gone to a lot of trouble to get his hair to look like this, so we want to keep it as like it as much as we can. Yeah. There's a lot of gel gone into this. Yeah, no, he does a bit of work there, doesn't he? Mm, it started on this one. It's the ancient art of decoupage. Oh. Well, well Marie Antoinette used to do it. She was a decoupage. So you're mixing with the right circles. It's not as if you're just mixing with Yvonne from Sandringham. <laughs> Yvonne said the cardboard oh, would bear no. my weight. Still, cardboard is cardboard, busy board is busy board. It was time to check it out. Looks good. Whoa! All <laughs> well, the 100 kilograms of me is being born very well here. I feel like a Roman emperor. With my coffin tucked away for a very rainy day, we headed out with a dummy receptacle to address the all-important question of burn time. Here we go, Yvonne. Let's give this eternal rest receptacle its road test. I've got the bodies here. We're going to go with our substitute body. And look how good it looks. It looks really dignified and fabulous. It's beginning to rain, Yvonne. Are you nervous? Yeah, I think we should get in there fairly quickly. Now, when we get up there, Tony, we've got to put the head towards the, the oven. Yep. I'll how, hold the lid up. How come you're using phone books? The phone books will take longer to burn. Confident, Yvonne. Oh, yes. Yeah. 